So do you go to church? Right now I don't. How come? I uh, was going to church for the past five years, a church that I really liked, and then I recently stopped going. It's been a year now. Um, the reason for not going, stop for not going anymore, is that I found that the church, even though it was really welcoming and it was a great group of people, um, that they weren't doing as much as they were saying. And so they were preaching all these great things about social justice and community and all that. And they had a great community going within the church, but I felt like they weren't really engaged with the community around them, with people that were Christians, and they weren't really doing enough in terms of social justice. What, is it, what, what are you looking for in a church? You say you're skeptical and cynical, but what is it that would make you want to go to a church? I think a church that really lives out uh, the teachings of Jesus and it's the hands and feet of Jesus, which means you have to be out there with people. You have to keep doing uh, the work that Jesus has called us to do. And also to be, for me as an activist, I feel like you have to be uh, allied with people who aren't Christians who are also doing the same work. Um, so it takes more work, it takes organizing and being intentional, uh, but I think that's what a church should be. I don't need anyone to tell me what to believe. I want to be active in my own faith and learn as I go. So I do not go to church because I believe I am as capable about learning uh, who Yahweh and uh, His Son are as everyone else. Um, so I believe in self-involvement self -involvement in your faith versus uh, filling a pew. So I just don't fill one. So you left the States to be a missionary in Germany. Yes. And what made you want to do that? Uh, it, it was a series of events, but it came to the point of where if I wasn't living my life to further the kingdom or bring glory to God's name, I saw no point in it. And so I went from confining church to a building to trying to become the church and being more active in a lifestyle, so that's why I pursued full-time missions. For me personally, like my heart really is to invest in the community that's in our own backyard. And um, like I've spent the last couple of months touring around the states um, using Pick a Pocket as a platform. And like now more than ever, I see that young adults and the youth of America, they, they need a lot of investment from the church. And I, I see, like, in my local church back home, like my parents' church that I go to whenever I'm in the States, um, that we are losing a lot of young adults and the younger generation simply because they're just not involved in anything. And I think one of the reasons of having church is being in that community with other believers and um, kind of working together to be the hands and feet of Jesus. So it's not like programming. It's not like church programming. It's more... You want something more. Yeah. I like I want to be active. It doesn't I mean programs help but only to a certain degree. You know, not everybody responds to a program or a seminar or you know even small groups I, but I'm not saying that those things are bad. I'm just saying that there needs to be a, an also a more active lifestyle that's partnered with the church. Uh I just see um, the church is trying to be uh, more of a mega church style, and they kind of um, reach out to the. They're really good at reaching out to the um, the new believers, and good at attracting people and making the church look attractive in that way. But they're not good at um, growing further than that and discipling further in that. And I think that's where the church is lacking. I think that uh, God likes. Quantity, equality better than quantity. I believe that firmly, and I believe that God's not calling a church to be cooped up inside of a building, but to be um, fruitful and multiply and go to the ends of the earth like He commanded. And I feel like that's more of a uh, it's, it's a kind of figurative uh, mindset that the church has, and not literal. They don't take it literally. So. I think that progressive Christianity. Um, has lost. We're so it's so quick. We're so quick to criticize um, evangelicals or fundamentalists or whatever we want to call them. People who have a deep, deep daily faith 
and walk with Jesus and love with God and something that they think about every day and that they has really changed their lives. We um, have lost that because we are, you know, a lot of people have been very hurt by that sort of um, tradition or um, faith and so they kind of go pendulum swing to the other side where they they really don't want to grab onto anything. They just want to leave it all open and, and um, have this sort of spirituality with that religion thing. But because we've gone so far from that, we've lost a lot of the passion, a lot of the a lot of the things that really feed our souls. So if you don't have the that part, the passion, the daily, the devotion, the um, the soul part, if you're just in your brain, it's not appealing to people, and it's not something that'll keep you coming back. You don't come back to church to hear a very intellectual sermon that gives you a good idea that you think about for 15 minutes. You come to church to hear a message that reinvigorates your soul and that means something for your walk with God and can transform your life. So I think we're missing the life transformation part. Not in every case, but to a large extent, the progressive church is missing that. So it's missing the young people. Um, the churches that do the best with young people are evangelical churches who, you know, unfortunately their politics, in my opinion, are terrible, but their faith formation is solid. And that's what people want. People want their lives to change. People long for a connection with God. And that's what we need to be facilitating. You're, you're in seminary. You're going through the ordination process. When you're placed in a church or a church that you start, how do you seek to engage young people? That's an excellent question. I, um, you know, I don't know. I'm very far from that. I haven't, I'm just, this is my first year of seminary, so I don't know um, what the future really holds. But I think it will have a lot to do with what I was, what, I, I hope, I pray that it will have a lot to do with what I was talking about earlier with, um, you know, wedding an intellectual, a faith that's able to think critically with a, a real connection, a real personal relationship with God. I mean, that's why I, that's who I'm in love with, you know? That's why I do this, because of what it's done in my soul and the liberation it's given me. And so I think if, we, if I think a ministry that focuses on that, focuses on both, is able to be honest about, our, you know, our, our questions about um, the traditions we've inherited, as well as really, you know, have faith in something, pursue God with passion. Um, I think that will appeal to people. It appeals to me, and I've seen it appeal to other young people in other ministries. Um, and I think it can work. So that, I think that's my plan. But I hope God gives me some more ideas because sometimes, you know, it seems like a uphill battle. Sounds like a good one to me. A lot of denominational leaders are concerned about the decline in the number of young adults, which are part of congregations, local churches. Mm -hmm. Do you have any? ideas of why that might be or suggestions for them? Yeah, I think the world is, um, and, and young people especially, are um, asking a different type of question about what it means to be involved in church. Uh, they want to know, if, if I'm going to engage faith, what does it mean for myself, my community, the world around me? And um, I think sometimes a lot of local congregations, um, it was said last night uh, by, by one of the speakers that Church, be, church and Jesus become a product like anything else. Um, and we say, hey, we have this, buy this product, buy Jesus from us and the way we do it, and all your stuff's going to go away. And I just think in a world inundated with product, I think the church needs to stand apart from something like that. And I think the world, and especially young people, are waiting for those kinds of, um, those kinds of movements, that, that kind of language, I think, as well. So, um, yeah, I think church might be on the decline, but I think people uh, making a genuine um, search for, for meaning in the divine, I don't think that's on the decline. So, do you go to church? I do not. Why? Um, I think I'm in a season of my life where I'm trying to practice being the church versus simply just going to a specific location to understand that uh, the kingdom of God is, is everywhere, and me choosing to participate in that in my day-to-day -day life is where I'm looking to be church in the world. So that's a, that's a, that's a conscious choice I think I'm making, in, at least in this season of my life. Have